Hello guys and welcome to the 12th tutorial of the series and today I'm going to be going over artificial intelligence so just in case none of you know what that is that's like uh, extra players, enemies, bots, whatever you want to call them you should know what they are really so I'm just gonna use this map that I've got here so once you play, you'll, once you press play there's no, nothing around you, there's nothing to do really it's not very interactive so let's just see I've got a player start here you can add multiple of these just so you can have extra players player start add extra player start it's gonna make a couple of those press play and it hasn't done anything there's no extra players so you gotta press add box and then go press I don't know two for example so I need to save this as deathmatch team deathmatch or whatever and save it as let's say AI test map. Press save. Make sure it's DM. It doesn't have to be called AI test map. It can be called anything else you want, so long as you have the DM uh, DM prefix in front of it or TDM. So press add bots and then two, and then you've just got standard bot there. There we go. But let's say I go over here where the bot can't see me he doesn't quite know what to do so he's just going to wait add bots to oh he didn't see me but yeah if they can't see you they're just gonna stand on the spot so you gotta add somewhere where the player will go so add actor path node basically it will tell you it'll tell the bot where to go if there are no pickups or anything like that so you c so once you go to the player start, you want to change some of the settings in there. Seeing as we got three of them, just control click on each of them, select each one, player starts, and then go to player start. We do not want them all to be the primary start. We just want one to be the primary start, where you will start at the beginning of the game. So push primary start on there, and you can change the team in index from like one to two hundred and fifty-five just go down quickly there we go and basically it will determine let's say you're doing team deathmatch one team will start at w one set so if you do that one is at one as well and then change this one to two you will have two enemies starting here and you'll have one on this one and it'll be kind of unfair so you want to have equal matches really if you're doing TDM so also there are, once I've once you've got a path node there are pickups as well. So go to content browser, actor classes, and then go to pickups. First of all there's ammo, there's link gun, rocket launcher, and shock rifle. I'm sorry, I just added uh two of the same things because I didn't uh, select rocket launcher properly. There we go. And also yeah, so we pick it up press play you've got your ammo so your link gun ammo is, it's all gonna work and you can pick it up the it's not gonna affect you with the rocket launcher and shock rifles you don't have one so I'm gonna show you how to add one now just press play and then weapon weapon pickup factory you can change the base skeletal mesh on here as well if you want to and if you add in extra weapons they will come up here you gotta do the required stuff like making the UC files which is unreal script and then uh, put it all in your content browser etc and yeah so you got let's say you got your shock rifle let's put that down copy paste and drag that along and this one's gonna have rocket launcher Oh, sorry. And then control V again. And then this one's going to have a link gun in it. Press play. Let's go find that. So we got a shock rifle. And like a sniper rifle. We got your rocket launcher, you can get that. There we go. And you've also got your standard link gun. And then you've got your ammo here, which will work now you use it. So you just go scroll and find your shock rifle. So I somewhat don't have any more. There we go. 
Let's go to my rocket launcher. And three ammo, run over the ammo, you got eleven, etc. Also there are power ups that you can add in. Let's go back here. Items, there's Berserk. Jump boots. Sorry, weren't meant to add it that high. Delete that. Yeah, jump boots, add them in there. Berserk. Sorry, same thing happened again. And again. Just put it straight in there. Okay, and now press play. And you got your different power ups. Some of them aren't going to be showing themselves because you haven't rebuilt paths, so I'm going to show you how to do that now. So just run over these boosts and you get a little extra jump. There you go. Basically, just like double tap to use it. It does not last forever, bear that in mind though. So, now let's go to our uh, health. There are different types of health. Health, you can't change the values of health on them though. You probably can't, you can if you go into the script files, but I'm not going to show that for now. So let's just add in super health, a little health veil, and a health pack. The veil is 5, the health pack is 15, and the next one, is, and this one here is 30. Let's press play. Sorry, only one of them is going to shut up due to having, you haven't rebuilt paths. So I shall have to do that in a minute. And some of them aren't going to work. But the health veil has worked. So if you check your health in the little HUD to the bottom right, you'll see you got 105% health. As you'll see on the HUD, there's a little marker for armor. So let's go get you some armor. You got the three different types. You've got the fire pad, you got the shield belt, and the base armor. All of these are going to work without rebuilding paths. Don't need to worry about that. And then press play. You see your armor. There's no percentage. Uh, it's not a number next to the percentage. But if you run over the fire pad, you now have 30%. Then run over all these. Pick them up. You will see there is a respawn time, which you'll notice in a second when they all respawn. It doesn't take too long. You can just type in restart in the command module. Level. Okay, maybe it doesn't want to work. Load. AI test. Okay, but. Never mind. But yeah, you'll just see that this uh, armor is just respawned along with the items and the guns that are respawned now. Also there are vehicles that you can put into the game. So let's see, go to vehicles and you've got the boost pad which basically increases the speed of your vehicle as you go f uh, through it or over it or whatever you want to do with it. So first of all, you got a Kakada. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. But that's how I'd pronounce it anyway. And that is a flying vehicle. So just press play. And there we go. You can make your own vehicles in 3DS Max and put all the bo necessary bones to in it. Not only just 3DS Max, you can do it in Maya or I don't know blender also there's the manta which is a ground vehicle can jump pretty high and then there's a the scorpion which is pretty much like the mongoose on halo if any of you have played it but it's got some cool blades on the front same with weapons you can make those in your etc with Phineas Max and Maya even Ogre I think yeah I doubt many of you have it but you can do it in that and then you got to just do all the necessary uh, scripting files, UC files, put them in the content rather than all the scripting files go in development, the rest go in the necessary places. So, yeah, that's about all I wanted to cover for this tutorial. Uh, thanks, good luck, goodbye, and look forward to the next tutorial tomorrow.